Hello Capricorn, this reading is for you. This reading will be your um, second half of November reading. As soon as I started doing your reading, I started sneezing like crazy. So I'm feeling like you have been feeling like you're under the weather. I feel like you are kind of getting over something. <laughs> Maybe you, your health hasn't been very good lately. Um, but yeah, I, I feel that for you. I feel like, yeah, and you have healing waters. So yeah, I, I feel like you definitely have been going through some healing. But I feel like that healing is your health. I feel like you're going through a healing time. You also have meditation to dig deep. At the bottom you have affirmations for growth. Yeah, so I, I, I feel like you are going through a healing, uh, Capricorn. I feel like you're focused more on feeling better. I didn't start sneezing and, and feeling kind of congested and everything else until I started doing your reading. So I'm <laughs> and usually when I'm doing this readings, I, I have such deep feelings for what you're going through at the moment. This isn't going to resonate with everybody, but this this is going to resonate with with a lot of you. You also have a will and release. So I feel like you're letting go of those feelings of of not being well. And you have waking the lion. Yeah, so you've been using your strength body and soul so yeah you're focused on on getting your strength back you are working on your your body I want to say you're working on your soul <laughs> Capricorn you're working on your soul purpose let's get some advice from your angels what do your angels want to say to Capricorn right now message from your angels please schooling study and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time the angels will guide you and help you through this process yeah so it, it could be that you're a student or you're studying something at this time are you still in school or hmm interesting you also have Fiona now that you've asked your angels for help be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance you deserve heaven's help okay at the bottom you have Leela spending time alone in nature meditating and meditating about your desires and intentions Asking the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Yeah, I, I think being being more positive at this time is actually going to help you gain uh, a lot more right now, Capricorn. I, I feel like just being positive, uh, you actually attract more into your life than, of course, if you're not going to you're not going to receive what you want by feeling uh, or holding on to any negative thoughts. So of course releasing any negativity out of your life is going to bring more positive effects. So if, if you're not feeling good, if you're feeling under the weather, just by getting out and moving or maybe taking a walk in nature um, will help you feel better. Just getting out, not, not being alone. <laughs> That's way too many.
Yeah, don't shut yourself. Don't shut yourself up, Capricorn. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, you have the death card right off the bat. So I feel like you're being renewed. This is a renewal period, Capricorn. You're moving on. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you feel like this is a slow process. Now, if you look at these two cards, the Knight of Pentacles and the Death card, they look very similar. And I feel like, yeah, this change that you're going through right now um, of feeling better, it's moving slowly, but you are moving in the right direction. Uh, you have the Ace of Cups. So yeah, you're definitely moving into the right direction. This, just changing your mindset alone, um, speaking words of healing into your life, is going to make a great impact. And I feel like you are more spiritual at this time. I feel like you are really focused on working with your spirit self. You have the Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. pages wow so you may receive some kind of communication that's going to bring you a lot of love and clarity something's going to speak the truth to you something is going to speak the truth to you you also have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is definitely, after this time of change and transformation, you definitely have a new beginning. And this is going to bring a more spiritual self to you. Something that's going to bring a lot more contentment and a lot of joy and happiness to your life. This is something that maybe you've been waiting for, Capricorn. This is like new wealth coming into your view. I think this is the reason why the Queen of Pentacles is here as well. Let's get one more card for the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Five of Wands. So this is something that you've been building. Um, maybe it's something that you've been building in your thoughts or in your mind. going to bring you a lot of happiness and wealth to your life, Capricorn. You have the Eight of Swords and the Emperor on the bottom. So yeah, this Emperor, Capricorn, this is you. This is you taking control of your fears in order to obtain your your the, these new beginnings this new beginning you're letting go of your fears you're stepping into new ground see she's standing in water so she was all caught up in her feelings but I think you're moving past that. And with this Ace of Cups, I think that you're going to get a new respect for your health, for love.
with the death, death card, you have the Nine of Wands. So you've definitely been persistent in working on yourself. I believe that you are close to your victory, Capricorn. You're definitely there. The Knight of Pentacles, you, you felt like you were at a standstill. But in fact, you, you were moving forward. Yeah, you were definitely moving on. You were definitely moving into a better place. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Two of Cups and the King of Cups. So this definitely, look at this. This is, this definitely can be love. This definitely can be love. A new beginning of love and support and good health. With the Hierophant, you have the sun. So yeah, this new, this new beginning is bringing you more contentment. It's going, if, if it hasn't, it will. It's on the way. It's going to bring you a lot more happiness. With the Page of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you done the work you've set your priorities you have found your balance you found what makes it all worthwhile with the page of swords you have the star so you definitely have healing you definitely have healing Capricorn You feel renewed. With the King, Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, you have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like someone was giving you a lot of nurturing. Someone was giving you a gift of... Um, of help. Someone was helping you through your time of need. Maybe they were helping you feel better about yourself. This could be your Two of Cups or your King of Cups. I'm not placing gender. This could be a King or a Queen. But I, I feel like this person was giving you the, the help that you needed. Yeah. You have the Empress and the Seven of Pentacles. So, and you have the Queen of Cups on the bottom. So definitely this person has helped you feel better about the situation. They've helped you get your health back. They've helped you gain your strength. That makes sense. A very good reading so far, Capricorn. My cat's back here making a lot of noise with this paper bag. He's driving me crazy. So if you hear any bag rat rattling back here, it's it's Kobe. He's he's doing the most. Okay, you have honesty. I can't always expect that truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So yeah, I think I think you are finding your truth, Capricorn. Whatever it is, you've gained your confidence. You're finding your truth in the situation. You have pride. I love myself 
And I see myself in everyone. Definitely. And you have purpose. I know what I am here to do. Okay. So that that's great energy for you, Capricorn. Okay, let's get a message from the universe. What does the universe have to say for Capricorn? Joy is the ultimate creator. Definitely, definitely. So yeah, I think you're finding your joy, Capricorn. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. So I, I feel like you've gone past these feelings of of whatever you were moving away from and you finally made a choice and I, th that's just what I was talking about earlier if you choose to think more positively positively positive things will happen it's all a freedom of choice okay let's see I've never gotten this card I find a deeper meaning and personal growth amid the discomfort. So, yeah, no, like I said, I, I feel like, and look, there's, there's moons on both of those cards. You have moons on both of those. But I, I feel like what it is that you're moving away from, um, I feel like, it has opened up your mind to the new possibilities. At the bottom you have attack fear, attack pain, fear, and judgment. And any form of separation are merely calls for help. Okay, it's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. But I'm feeling like, let's get a monology card. Capricorn. Let's get a monology card. See what monology has to say. Okay. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. At the bottom, luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Yeah, so I, I feel like Whatever it is that you were going through, um, maybe it was you putting your pride ahead of everything else. Um, maybe you... were just feeling like not feeling well. You were feeling like... It was... I, I want to say feeling, you were feeling worthless, but you are worthy, Capricorn, and luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. Joy is your ultimate creator. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, Capricorn. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. Make sure to take a look at your Sun, Moon, and Rising for more messages. Uh, they may resonate with you more. And love and light, Capricorn. Have a wonderful holiday. Enjoy yourself.